Ah, in uh, this video, I will scan this object. Uh, it's a coffee maker. Uh, there are three parts here, uh, the base, and uh, these copper things here, and the handle. So I will scan them separately. Uh, I start with this one first. It has an oval shape, and in the back here, there are some uh, deep, deeper grooves. We we'll see if the scanner can uh, detect the groove inside here. I will scan uh, with both scanners in uh, different modes. Uh, I will scan in the uh, flat plane like this, and then I flip it over to scan the undersides, and then I will uh, merge them in the software. Uh, this could be difficult to merge because the wall here on the sides, it's parallel to each other. The only overlap area will be the size wall here, and they are parallel. So when you merge them, uh, it's likely that the bottom part and the top part will not be able to align. So I will scan this uh, without actually applying the markers on the object because uh, when the software removes the marker, they don't remove uh, every marker and it's difficult to clean up. So I will just uh, use these uh, triangles. I have like 40 of this. Uh, I start with the author geometry mode. See if author can track with the help of the pyramids here. I use uh, this one for raising the object. It should be a little bit taller so that you can scan the uh, extreme edge here at the bottom. I will use the uh, other uh, normal uh, some medium objects. We try geometry first, see if it can track this object uh, with some help of the pyramid as an additional feature. Uh, accuracy high, turntable. Come on, this is very annoying, it's very annoying, what, I pressed the long button, oh, I haven't completed but I pressed the wrong button, I have to do it all over again. What? Scan frame limit bridge? Complete the scanning. I haven't finished it. I'm almost there. Ask me to stop. What? So I guess that's it. Uh, when it reached uh, 10,000 frames, the software uh, asked me to stop scanning. I still have uh, more RAMs available. So I couldn't complete the uh, bottom part here.
I have a uh, 6,700 frames. Okay, I will try uh, laptop in the infrared mode. Uh, medium object with a marker, high quality. It should be the brightness of the uh, marker. This should be the brightness of the infrared. Oh, uh, they can track well. As you can see here, mm, the black color here is not scanned. So, so marker, black object with the infrared mode in laptop is not usable. I can, I can reduce the brightness of the marker, increase the exposure here to the maximum. I, uh, I still cannot see the black object. I can see some faint object here. So I go to infrared and geometry. So I probably need to adjust the... So as you can see here, the, the in infrared mode cannot see the black object very well. I don't think I can scan this. To, uh, so I don't think it's usable for this object, black object. Uh, the only mode that works will be uh, the blue laser, the blue light, uh, 0 0.2. The latter uh, in blue laser mode, it has ability to see the marker very far. Even the marker here is visible. The reason I put uh, this target, the triangle one, the big one here, is because if I want to scan in this orientation, uh, this mm, target will be uh, detected by the scanner. So I will lose the track, right? So as you can see, that, that I, I still have a, a, a lot of markers visible here, almost uh, 10 markers. Uh, good thing about the laptop is you can test uh, by moving your scanner around and see if you see all the markers.
I try to merge uh, from uh, this software. Uh, left and bottom, left the top. See if it uh, can merge it. One. One. Two. Two. Um, maybe I pick a point that is. It should be far away from these two. Okay, so let's pick the center point here. Three. Three. Yeah, so we have the same problem. As you can see here that the wall is parallel, it's not tapered, so it cannot specify the it cannot uh, match the height. It only can match the X, Y walls, not the Z. So I will do it in uh, Cloud Compare. 